Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Katz. My name is Mighty Kiwi. And we're going to go into game one of uh, today. Today Day we have four. very exciting matches. Yeah, we do. Round of eight? It's a round of eight, yeah. The first match is going to be Petraeus, a teammate of ours, playing from upstairs against State, former teammate, playing from his house 15 minutes ago. Oh, wait. oh boy, I go! <laughs> If I say a go, it's a go. Okay. Fifteen minutes ago is where state leaves. Lives. Leaves. <laughs> if I say it's leaves, that's where he leaves to come here. Sometimes. Um, <sighs> so yeah. There's this been banter. Be cool. There has been. There has been some yeah. friendly banter what between the two. A lot of veto banter. Yes. Oh, interesting. And uh, mind games. And deciding if player being player A or player B is better. Mm. What was the decision? There was a bit of a disagreement. State was sure it was player B, right? Yeah. Or was it? Yeah. State, State said player B had a huge advantage. And, and then Petraeus is just doing what he's Why, doing. Why is that now. player B's which one? Player player B, it's A B B A. Second, but picks math one. That's the one I pick. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the one I would pick. And Petraeus needs to wake up. Because the Beatles are A, B, B, A, right? Yep. Yeah, it would pick player B. <sighs> Tough match, I think. I don't know. Very much so. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even pick between the two. You wouldn't? No. Who would you like to win? Well... I would like Petraeus to win, okay. for obvious reasons. What? What's the reason? Well, I know Petraeus much better than I know State. And that and after fellow, knowing Petraeus, we're fellow countrymen. <laughs> after knowing Petraeus, we're fellow still countrymen to win. here. All he's right. he's flying the New Zealand flag. At the same time, he is the best player in New Zealand, and you are the second best player in New Zealand. Yeah. So there's a, some sort of a rivalry there. Yeah, I suppose, but I'd still rather see him win this match. I'd rather see him lose to me, of course, but... But you're in the And academy. who would you He's rather win? I would rather Petraeus win. Why is that? Because I own the team that he <laughs> represents. Well, you've known State longer, yeah? Sure, if it came to just personal relationships, I would rather State wins. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a best of nine, Rob. And in the top right hand side of the map, spawning as the red Protoss representing the Prime Clan, the Prime Team. Prime Clan is what the logo stands for. Their P C, as you can see, if you can see, zoom in. You see the P and the C? Yeah, there it is. There it is, P in red, and uh, C in velvet, velvet? Darker Vel red. Darker red. Darker red. <laughs> Just go with darker red. Uh, blood red. Anyway, there's Prime State, or State Prime. State Prime. And in the bottom left-hand side position, representing Root and by proxy TT Sports Twitch and V3 Gaming PC, it is Root Gaming's Petranus. Petranus. I like that name. Yep. There's Patch Trace, Petranus. There's lots of nicknames for it. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Ethan, no warm me up. up. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah. I think I should have cast it with Iagos, so he couldn't warm up either. That well, would have been, been ideal. If either one of you had been up early, <clears> would, <throat> have, okay. would have been better all around. Yeah. I think. Anyway, very standard opener uh, by both players, really, so far, except uh, I guess Petraeus went for a hatch first, didn't yep, he? Yep, he did. It's not a big deal. Well, fast double gas here. From state. Yeah, that's uh, that's not really standard either. So we'll see what happens from here. 
crawl. Mm. Maybe gate nexus. But... Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, no three hatch. He's gonna grab his pool before he grabs his gas. Yeah. So again, a pretty standard opener by I, I would say both players, but I go hatch first a lot. Most people don't, I guess. So this might be a little bit new slash perhaps risky, but not really. And state doesn't really ever kind of rush that mm -hmm. I've seen anyway. So I guess it's a pretty safe bet. What is that? State. That's two guys on this cast right now. One. On the bottom. He only had one before. That is strange. Yeah, the next probes rally to the gas. Yeah, that is some very uh, strange tactics. The only reason you would do something like that is if you don't think it will affect your build order at all. Because otherwise, just mine one gas, right? Yeah. Uh, but having just one or a one and a half per gas, it's going to mine the, pretty much the same as one gas. So Interesting if you don't more. think that it will affect your timings at all, like you actually don't need those 75 minerals early on, like you're producing probes as quickly as you can anyway, etc., etc., then that's fine. Two links moving across the map, David. Can you yeah. please explain stuff? Well, he's gonna look for some scouting information, and also there was a probe from State, just checking that he didn't grab a fast three hatch. He's checking both the thirds, and these links are gonna come across the map and most likely get chewed away by the mothership core. No, uh oh. But they're gonna be able to see the nexus. Um, interesting pylon placement here. By state, both those two pylons I've not seen before. Could be a bit of a funky wall. Uh, yes, perhaps. I don't uh, know. It seems like the wall goes in front and of it. There's a stargate. A stargate for state. Oh, these lings are gonna get in. They will. He's gonna try to deny them as best he can, but. Will not. So the stargate will be spotted by the looks of it. Yeah, nice scouting for Petraeus. Indeed. He is delaying his third quite a bit. Uh, I think after seeing that, you should take it ASAP. Yeah, and what does State do from the uh, from here, David? What does he do with the Stargate? He's adding two more gateways. Yeah, uh, I'm. He's most likely Phoenix, almost, almost certainly Phoenix. Mm, he is, do you think he's gonna apply pressure or just sit back? Uh, mm, well, by the looks of that probe, he's gonna sit back and grab a third. <laughs> you think? Oh, David. Well, oh, he's making an oracle. Oh wow, you were wrong. I was wrong. You need um, to grab a forge as well. Yeah, so if it's an oracle, then it's probably going to be a third base. Maybe yeah. a void rate to be expected next. Uh, Petraeus is still going for the... For the... For spark crawlers pretty early on, so... He's he's made a few wings as well. That he's going to nice poke. Him. See what's going on. Yeah, perhaps try to deny any uh, probes that goes to... Maybe drop a third, which is already there. He delayed his third for quite a <coughs> bit, and he also delayed his his lair mm -hmm. quite a bit. Only just starting now. Yeah, yeah, his third is actually really late. Yeah, considering the lair. Is that late. Mm. Yeah. Wow, really nice micro estate. Did you see that? Yeah, it's, it's that was impressive. Oh, he actually made a second oracle as well. That's interesting. That is strange, actually. Normally, you see a void yeah. when you take a third like this. Yeah. Because that's what defends and kills roaches really fast. In case there is a, a the living first, roach boat. The first oracle has been scouted. You know, it's trying to pick off some drones at the uh, third. How's he doing about that, Rob? Yeah, he's killed about three drones so far with the first oracle. Well, that's but, good. Um, I don't imagine that adding the second oracle would be of great benefit. You don't think so? No, because he's over, he's gonna be he should be safe. He's got a spore and. In all of his mineral lines, as well as the queen, so I don't think that they should, the oracle shouldn't be able to do much more damage. Probably not, David. Yeah. And uh, the oracle here, now moving into the natural uh, and, and scooting into the main once again. He's gonna try and grab another drone. Doesn't quite get it. Oh, oh close. got him. Got well, two more. Got him. Two extra probes, drones. Not bad. Not bad. And here's the second oracle. What yeah. do, you th do you think he's gonna get more done with this? Yes. Do you? Uh, and now the now the voider on the way, by the way. Yeah. So. Wow, he is actually getting a few more drones. Yeah. How many kills is this one? This one got two already. That's pretty good. Yep. Uh, considering how fast the first oracle was identified. Yeah. Oh, he's adding two extra stargates. Oh, uh, wow. 
So no, no and robot charge as well. So this yeah. is gonna be like a um, void ray salad kind of composition. Yeah. Uh, Petraeus is gonna need fungal if he wants to deal with this. Definitely. There's, there's not much else that, that shuts it down as hard, but at the same time, that shuts it down really hard. Yeah, so. it does. Void rays are pretty prone to clumping when you move them around. Indeed. It's hard to control in some ways. Indeed. Not to forget, Petraeus already playing from a disadvantageous position from the start, really kind of delaying his uh, third so much and for no reason. So, I think this is, he's in a pretty tough position. I think state everything's going state's way so far. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the probe counts are the pretty even. Definitely. I mean, state's about to take a lead, I think, which... Hmm. It's not too bad, but... I feel like State is in a very critical position. And mm -hmm. uh, no fourth base on the way for Petraeus yet. For Petraeus. Oh, there it is, at the gold. Likes to prove me wrong. Likes to prove you wrong, indeed. He could hit a good timing here, though, with these Hydras. Uh, you there's, think so? there's not a lot. Oh, oh the Void Ray goes down. Poor, though. poor positioning. Uh, if State can hold this without taking huge losses to his economy. He's looking to be in a good spot, but there's a lot here for Petraeus. He's yeah. gonna focus the Nexus. That's not a big deal. The Nexus get re yeah. will get rebuilt in a second. He's gonna Petraeus trade away. Gonna, yeah, he's gonna all lose his, his entire is. army. So yeah. I think that was good for State to be completely Agreed. honest. The Nexus goes up instantly as well. Yep. Storm. Uh, Storm in combination with a huge amount of. Oh, void rays can be difficult to deal with, especially because you can uh, use the High Templar to deal with the um, uh, the Infestors, which is what uh, Petraeus will be looking to do to deal with the void rays. Yeah, not really though. Infestors no? outrange. Yeah. High Templars. With the fungals, but they can be. I mean, there's micro. Oh, they can't. Yeah, they can't be neuroparasited, I guess, David. No, no, they can't. Is there anything else? Well, they could be, but you know. Okay. Because uh, like Highly on my unlikely. books, on my books, it's some festivers, the hard kind of okay, That's not in my books. But well, maybe you should get new books. They really like you've been, <laughs> you've, you've been at the root house for for a little while. You should realize my books are the current edition, <laughs> and yours are just okay. <coughs> anyway, go go on, David. Anyway, he's got three stargates, but he's only making one void there in current seems. Yeah. His, yeah, his void account seems very low for what he should have, I feel. Good storm well, He had to warp in a lot of solids yeah, he at did. that third, so. The storms are good, actually. Not the great, are but. Pretty good. He may have overestimated a little bit. A few the choice come for Stormos, I really like that. Um, Stormos is definitely a, the, one, of the, one of the best unit compositions that you can hold, go here uh, as well. Like. Infestors are good, uh, especially if they're over committing to Void Rays, which we thought was going to be the case because of three Stargates. Oh, now he's actually producing three Void yeah. Rays at a time. But, uh, good reveal, but yeah, otherwise, if the amount of Void Rays is not gigantic, then Swarm Hosts are going to be fantastic because they'll, they'll destroy anything on the ground. There's nothing that, there's no AoE that will push through those guys. Yeah. State's going to be a bit of a, make a bit of a push here. Uh, he does have the option to recall if he gets in a terrible position. No, the high temper are struggling a bit. But they, yeah, but they don't get really picked off. Yeah. Could have picked off one, maybe. So he picks off the fourth and he should be looking to recall here. I think. Maybe. Maybe he's going for the third as well. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be amazing for him if he gets the third as well. It looks like he will. Petraeus is out of position. Here. Yeah, he will. Good for the field so far. Indeed. Yeah, good it's storms. Storms. Now the recall. Oh. Nope, no, oh. the army's trapped now. Oh dear. He may still be able to wiggle his way out. Yeah, I mean, his army has definitely traded cost efficiently. And there's two more no matter what happens coming down, yeah. So, this is not terrible. Loses the army on the ground, but takes down two bases. And quite honestly, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of army from Petraeus himself, perhaps much more expensive than his, as his was mostly Zealots. Yeah, he's trading so. Zealots for Hydras now, which is always good for the product. Yeah. This is looking great for State, really. So, yeah. yeah double Robo coming up behind this. 
we're looking to add Colossus and just get a really scary army. Indeed. Especially because he didn't he didn't lose all his void rates, so he managed to keep some, which is good. It makes his army scarier, and he's still making them. So Petraeus is. Uh, it's gonna be hard for him to deal with a uh, void rate Colossus High Templar. Yeah. While being only on what almost one base economy because his main yeah, is looking yeah. dry. He needs his swarm host to to start doing damage, and State's not letting that happen. State's uh, positioning his army really well and continuing to move it around. And now he's he's gonna go for the. Oh, that could have been a little bit risky for State, but he could just move the observer and void rate. Yeah, he could. He could. There's nothing to choice to do about that. Yeah. So. Oh uh, yeah, he just hasn't thought of it, I guess. Nice move by Petraeus. Cute. He might get. He looks like he probably will get the deny on that. Uh, Nexus. But the yeah, armies are engaging. The armies are engaging. The armies are engaging. In the middle. Oh, well, looks like lots of swarm is going down. Those. Sh yeah, those shouldn't get away. Not all of them. You think so, David? Not all of them. Um. So GG. yeah, Petraeus is just gonna have to GG. Tough out of game one with that state takes the lead in the series up 1 0 against Petraeus. We'll be back in 90 seconds with the second game. Stick around.